वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल टुडे इट्स अबाउट कैंसर न्यू मून इन अश्लेष नक्षत्र एट एटीन डिग्रीज द न्यू मून इन कैंसर एस्पेशली इन अश्लेष नक्षत्र कैन ब्रिंग अ पावरफुल टाइम फॉर इमोशनल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन हीलिंग एंड रिन्यूअल मक्यूरी द लॉर्ड ऑफ अश्लेषा इज ऑलमोस्ट स्टेशनरी and is about to go retrograde on 5th of august so there is a definite purpose of this ashlesha new moon and mercury retrograde related to cancer and capricorn placement in our chart also mercury is the third and 12th lord for cancer sign it is the time to go slow and reflect on everything double check think twice before you start anything new as your risk taking tendency or your hasty action can turn into a loss the focus is on capricorn sign and the pluto is placed there the planet of major transformation cancer rules the home and family well capricorn is all about our career power and position in our society expect some changes in these areas this cancer new moon can give a fresh start in the way we feel and think about all these matters it is the time to reflect on our emotional well-being and make necessary changes to have inner peace use this new moon to reflect on past emotional experiences and release any lingering negative emotion or grudges this process can help us to move forward with a lighter heart it offers an opportunity for deep emotional healing transformation and encourages to look within to address hidden fears insecurities release any stubborn emotional patterns and any toxic elements in our life much like shedding old skin which is the domain of ashlesha nakshatra ashlesha is a gandant nakshatra and signifies ending and here the aim is to achieve security comfort and ensure financial stability decisions made during this time can be deeply transformative in nature ashlesha's energy can encourage us to make changes in our personal life regarding home and family matters be mindful of manipulative tendencies either in yourself or in others as ashlesha can sometimes bring out this aspect also it all depends on the placement of natal mercury and transit mercury in our chart with mercury's influence there is a focus on communication trading business learning and our intellectual projects this is a very good time for studying teaching or sharing our knowledge with others be cautious with your words the way we communicate as those words can have a significant impact during this time there is a potential for cunning tendencies or some misunderstanding can happen so look for clarity and honesty in our communication ashlesha is often associated with our karma pending karma This new moon may bring some opportunities for karmic cleansing or resolving any past issues especially those related to our family or emotional matters. Ashlesha is symbolized by a coiled serpent shedding old skin to renew itself. It is also associated with wisdom, mysticism and transformation. it is linked with a sharp intellect with ability to analyze and understand deep and hidden aspect of life 
the transformative quality is associated with uncovering some secrets dealing with pending karma and healing our deep seated issues see ashlesha is also associated with healing physical emotional and psychological healing that involves some alternative or holistic methods soon after this new moon the moon will cross cancer gandanta and will conjunct venus and retrograde mercury in leo expect some result of this new moon here around this time there can be some solutions or solving some most complex issues with a new beginning it can be little tense with moon opposite saturn on 7th of august and on 9th of august moon will conjunct ketu in virgo at 15 degrees but this has jupiter's aspect as a saving grace time after this can be little slow till 14th of august when moon is in scorpio and has an aspect of jupiter mars and saturn at 22 degrees this can be a strong day to bring a new start and days around this may bring some major development where taurus in scorpio is placed taurus is 11th house for cancer sign where this new moon is happening so any change can turn out to be positive also see on 15th of august moon will cross scorpio gandanta and on 16th sun will cross cancer gandanta all this indicates a certain major shift in the current situation then on 17th of august moon will conjunct pluto at 6 degrees in capricorn and ha- this has jupiter's aspect this further confirms some tough but manageable development with any transformation and the concluding tra- result of this new moon can be beneficial as on 19th there is a full moon in aquarius at 3 degrees in dhanishtha nakshatra of celebration and prosperity it's one of the most positive nakshatra the same day on 19th retrograde saturn will re-enter aries navamsha and venus will be opposite saturn also jupiter will enter mrigashira nakshatra and in leo navamsha so the 14th august and the 19th august are key days which can bring some movement in the current situation we have too many shifts at a time around this full moon this clearly states some concrete result of this new moon we can expect around this time wherever cancer taurus capricorn and scorpio sign is placed in our chart that area is most impacted with this new moon emphasize on nurturing and supportive relationships it is a very good time to show care and affection towards our loved ones reflect on how your work impacts your emotional well-being and consider ways to create a more balanced work life situation focus on emotional health and stress management engage in activities that promote relaxation and mental peace for better results let us see what impact we can expect for all 12 ascendants start with aries for aries focus on family matters and your home environment is important it is a very good time to nurture your relationship with family members and make your home a more comfortable and secure place address any unresolved family issues and seek emotional healing improving health 
फिक्सिंग योर डेली रूटीन रीलोकेशन एंड ट्रेवल कैन बी योर फोकस इट इज़ द टाइम टू इंक्रीज योर नॉलेज एंड हैव सम वाइज कम्युनिकेशन विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड योर सिबलिंग्स Taurus this new moon emphasizes communication it is a very good time to express your feelings and clear up any misunderstanding you may feel drawn to learning some new things and sharing your knowledge with others you may adopt some changes in the way you handle your finances your family especially your relationship with your children can change it is a time to update yourself with the latest and be gentle in your communication gemini focus on your financial situation it is a very good time to reassess your budget your savings and your investments reflect on your values and your self worth Make sure your financial decisions align with your personal values. You may have new opportunities in property or even in your work zone. It is the time to improve your personality, your health, nurture your family and bring security with your finances. Cancer. This new moon occurs in your own sign. making it a powerful time for self reflection and personal growth consider setting some new personal goals or starting a new project that aligns with your true self control your expenses spend some time alone and anything related to a foreign country can find its closure it is not a good time to take unnecessary risk or get into conflicts focus on maintaining good health leo focus on your inner world and your subconscious mind this is a very good time for introspection and healing past wounds take some time for your own self to rest and develop some new skills for self improvement be careful with major expenses and losses it is a rewarding time if you release let go of any toxic habit and surrender whatever you are holding on to virgo this new moon highlights your friendships and your social connections strengthen your bond with your friends and participate in some group activities consider how you can contribute to your community and support others your friends you are recognized for your skills on your work front your health can be good it is the best time to change explore foreign opportunities or have a deep reflection on your own self your work zone and think about what needs change libra focus on your career and your public image this is a very good time to set new professional goals and make a positive impression on others reflect on your ambitions and how you can achieve them your aim here is to attain peace at home have a strong foundation and good relationship with your family you may complete your pending documentation work on travel or any higher education matter scorpio this new moon encourages you to expand your horizons and that can be through travel education or some spiritual practices reflect on your beliefs seek deeper understanding it is a time to pursue new adventures expand your knowledge and learn something new to widen your vision be mindful while sharing your feelings and your thoughts with your family and others make new friends expand your circle and also pay attention to your health sagittarius focus on your personal transformation and letting go of old habits or beliefs that no longer serves you 
this is also a very good time to address shared financial matters or investments now this is a great time to reevaluate your eating habits and understand what matters the most and make necessary changes best time to heal any issues within the family have clear communication and take care of your health capricorn this new moon emphasizes your close relationships strengthen your partnerships and address any unresolved issues strive for balance and harmony in your relationships there can be a complete makeover in your image with this new moon your relationship and health will improve it's the time to set a new daily routine you may restore your faith confidence and your luck would enhance with good foreign opportunities it is a time to be caring and affectionate towards whoever you come across aquarius focus on your health and daily routine this is a very good time to adopt healthier habits and improve your daily schedule consider how you can be a service to others help others you may restore discipline in life and have new fitness goals long awaited opportunities can come in your personal life or you can have foreign travel it can also trigger some new investment opportunities pisces this new moon highlights your creativity and source of joy engage in activities that bring you happiness and allow your creativity to flow smoothly it is also a very good time for romance and enjoying time with your loved ones it's all about rewards your social network and your friendships with this full moon can increase now is a great time to work on your desires and achieve goals best time to make some long term plans regarding your career and your home that was all about the impact on ascendants to summarize the new moon in cancer ashlesha nakshatra is the best time for emotional and spiritual transformation it encourages deep introspection emotional healing and the release of negative patterns this period is ideal for setting new intentions related to emotional well-being family matters and personal growth and communication in all these things the influence of ashlesha nakshatra also highlights the importance of business communication intuition and any intellectual projects making it a powerful time for learning and self discovery by focusing on self care emotional health intuitive insights we can make the most of this transformative energy of ashlesha nakshatra set new emotional goals and learn to better express your feelings spend some quality time with your family and friends engage in some meaningful conversation and activities that can strengthen your bond with others that was all about the new moon in cancer ashlesha nakshatra i hope this was helpful best wishes to everyone with this new moon thank you for your time do share your feedback and stay tuned with this channel for more updates thank you